Over 400,000 people have signed a petition to ban Donald Trump from entering the UK. And they're all fucking idiots. So you want to ban someone for expressing what you call dangerous and authoritarian ideas by giving the government dangerous and authoritarian powers. Yeah, Trump wanting to ban Muslims because they have different ideas is bad. So let's ban Trump for having different ideas. Hey, now that censorship is trendy, why don't we start burning Trump's new book? It's full of his bad ideas. After all, that's what the Nazis did, and we know how well that ended. How fucking stupid are you people? Do you even understand what free speech actually means? Maybe you should all move to Saudi Arabia. You'd love it. They don't just bar or deport people who criticize Islam. They execute them. And how many of the 400,000 plus idiots who signed the petition only did so to virtue signal and get social brownie points off their liberal trendy friends? Oh, look at me. I can type in my name and left click a few times. I'm such a brave social justice warrior. Everyone's going to think I'm so progressive. How many of the 400,000 plus morons who signed the ban Trump petition also signed a petition to ban UK terror suspects from returning from Syria and Iraq. But you know, I really get why people want to ban Trump. As a country, we don't accept hateful and intolerant views. Except if you're an Islamist who openly calls for beheading people who insult Islam. That's just fine. Also note how the BBC gave the ban Trump petition blanket news coverage while ignoring a petition to curb migration that was signed by over 200,000 people. But it's no surprise that the 400,000 plus idiots who signed the ban Trump petition are from the UK. The UK is a place where liberals and the mayor of London pretend that no-go Muslim areas are a conspiracy theory. While police across the country confirm that no-go Muslim areas are real, and not a conspiracy theory. The UK is a place that bans a radio host as a security threat for criticising mass immigration, while allowing an Islamist hate preacher to go on television and endorse terror attacks. The UK is a place that investigates a world champion boxer for hate crimes for having the same opinion on homosexuality as the Pope, while allowing Anjem Chowdhury to openly call for stoning homosexuals to death. The UK is a place where people who plan to attend Draw Muhammad cartoon contests are arrested, while Islamists who walk around central London waving ISIS flags are set free. The UK is a place where people report me to the police for criticising the religion of Islam, while Muslim paedophile gangs who rape children are not prosecuted because police and local councils fear being called politically incorrect. The UK is a place where politicians are arrested for quoting Winston Churchill, while the European spiritual head of Al-Qaeda is allowed to stay in the country for over a decade at a taxpayer expense of over three million pounds. But let's be fair, the UK is the best country for free speech in the world. If you're a hate spewing Islamist who wants to endorse terrorism, killing gays and stoning women to death. No one's calling for those people to be censored. So here's my solution. Donald Trump needs to convert to Islam. Then he can spew all the hate he wants about minority groups, travel back and forth between terrorist occupied nations and enter the UK whenever he likes. There'll be no petition. There'll be no mass outcry. The left won't give a damn. Because only Islamists are allowed to engage in hate speech and the UK will continue to welcome them with open arms. Think about and you don't you... do it by saying to them Muslims are bad. But you're not saying Muslims I'm not... are bad. Right. You are saying that you... We're oh. saying the ideas need to be changed. You're and saying by their the way, ideas are bad? Uh, killing women for being raped, I would say, is a bad idea. <laughs> that... Yeah, I do. Hang me for it.